it has been said in the scriptures that Shrabanaya api bhaviryo nalavya srinnan popi bhavaya navidu asya yajnata kusalanu sista asya bhakta kusalanu sista ज gets the chance to learn it that is to undergo the practical training because the science is a rare one and teachers are still rare and aspirants are still less in numbers now we want that it should be for all and as you know the minimum qualification for acquiring spiritual knowledge and enjoying spiritual bliss is nothing more than a human body only having a human body is the requisite qualification you may or may not have education you may or may not have any social status but you must possess is a human body now a man a living being having a human body must have three aspirations in him they are he should be ready to acquire spiritual knowledge and enjoy spiritual peace with the help of pranipatena sari prashnena sevaya then first thing is prani patena pra minus ni minus root bhar pat plus hoy suffix is prani pata that is the aspirant should have a sincere desire to know and to do when a sincere desire a sincere longing is created and for that longing one is ready to sacrifice one's all for that purpose then we'll say that one is doing pranipata pranipata means complete surrender <coughs> without this complete surrender nothing can be done because if all psychic propensities are moving towards good or objects how can one move towards the supreme entity so one will have to withdraw all psychic propensities moving towards the good or evil and guide that combined propensity unto the supreme entity it is prani pata and second thing is pari prashna you know prashna means question the root word quest means to search for and the noun from quest is question in sanskrit 
almost in the same or the similar sense the word prash is created plus the suffix ya. So what is pariprasna? You know, sometimes just to quench your thirst of inquisitiveness you ask a question. And sometimes just to be full that man you ask him question. You know the answer. In order to be full him, you ask him. And sometimes you ask him meaninglessly. It is not a, nothing but a whimsical expression, a capricious expression. But all these are not pariprasna. The word pariprasna has got only one meaning, one import, and that is you are placing your question in order to get a reply. That reply will be followed by you in your practical field. You are asking the questions just to do according to the reply. When the question is asked just to in order to do according to the reply that you will be receiving, then that question is called Pariprasna. So all the questions of a spiritual aspirant must be Pariprasna and not ordinary prasna, not ordinary question. The first thing was Pranipata, second thing Pariprasna, and third one is Sevaya. Sevaya means true service. When you want to learn the spiritual science from the Paramapurusha, you know only Paramapurusha knows the spiritual science and he preaches the spiritual science through a physical body and that body we know as the Guru. Now, so the actually the reply, actually the science is known to the Paramapurusa and to nobody else. His science is known to him only. And when you want to know something from him, he will have to satisfy him when he will be pleased, he will give the reply, he will teach you. His is not a mercenary business, so you will have to please him, you will have to satisfy him. And how can you satisfy him? The only way to satisfy him is to serve his children and the entire universe, the entire living being, the entire living world is what? His progeny, is the progenitor. So if you want to satisfy him, you have to render selfless service to his children, that is this living world. And this rendering selfless service to the created, to the entire created world is known as seva. You know our transactions are of two kinds. You are giving something, you are taking something. It is called commercial transaction. You are giving a few dollars and getting some article. You give something, you take something, he gives something. That is the transaction is Mutual, where the transaction is mutual, it is called commercial transaction or business. But when the transaction is unilateral, that is you are giving something but you are not taking anything, it is unilateral, unilateral in English one-sided, then it is called seva. Or it may be explained in some other style. Let there be a commercial transaction. 
you give some money, take something. And if you want to give, if you want to take the costliest article from him, you will have to give him the costliest <coughs> amount. So if you want to take the, get the costliest amount, that is spiritual knowledge, you will have to give yourself and no money. Both may be treated as seva. When it is unilateral, that is you are giving, you are not taking, it is also seva. And when you are giving your everything to get something from him, it is also seva. So just to acquire the spiritual knowledge and enjoy the spiritual bliss, you require three items. Three items or three actions are to be done by you. It is a process of spiritual approach. And that process is pranipatena, pariprasnena, 